Hi everyone, welcome to the lab. I'm excited to bring you the first ever Two Minutes on Film recorded here at the lab. This is a facility that we've acquired for the sole purpose of the development and testing of our Armorplast and Riot Glass security products. Today, we're gonna to dispel a common myth about our Armorplast panel, or it's not just about our Armorplast panel, but it's about any kind of Lexan, plexiglass, polycarbonate, or other resin type uh, security panels that are used for containment and for the protection of people, property, and merchandise. These panels, so the myth goes, can be significantly weakened and thwarted by the use of a blowtorch or, believe it or not, a flaming marshmallow. That's right, you heard it right here, a flaming marshmallow. As the legend goes, if you throw a burning marshmallow onto a Lexan plexiglass or polycarbonate panel, it will burst into flames and melt a giant hole in the panel. Well, this is something that really needs to be addressed. Now our Armor Plus panel is, basically goes over your existing glass. This is glass back here. This is a regular aluminum type storefront panel. This is our polycarbonate panel that's mounted in our patented framing. And this, when attacked, protects the glass, in many cases, from breaking at all. So we've had several retail customers whose stores we've protected, uh, schools and other facilities where there have been attempted break-ins and the only thing that they find the next day are marks all over the window. Now you can see we've parked a Jeep across the parking lot from our test panel here today so that you can see a little bit of contrast between the panel and the white wall. And you can see that this is, has several marks on it. So this has been hit several times with heavy tools. We're gonna to continue the abusive testing today to see if we can actually burn a hole in it with a butane torch and the flaming marshmallow. In a lot of our past videos, we've used heavy tools like this bat. You can see all the abuse this thing has taken in all the testing we've been doing. But today we're not gonna use that blunt instrument. We're gonna use a blowtorch like this. And we're also gonna light one of these giant marshmallows on fire. Now, I didn't want anyone to say that we weren't using a big enough marshmallow. So we got these campfire giant roasters as they're called. That's a huge marshmallow. We just wanted to make sure that someone wasn't saying, oh, that's too small of a marshmallow. These are the largest ones I believe in the production of uh, normal everyday grocery store type production. They're gluten free by the way and fat free. I just have one. Mm, that's pretty good. Since the marshmallow extinguished upon impact and dropped off of the armor plast panel, we decided to simulate had it stuck on there and continued to burn. Obviously we're adding a lot more heat with the blowtorch than just a burning marshmallow. But you can see that really all we're doing is just charring the remaining marshmallow and it didn't seem to weaken the panel in any way, shape or form. So we decided to move on to the blowtorch test. We like to document the amount of time that we spend on an attack and since the marshmallow had really no effect on the armorplast panel, we didn't start the countdown clock until we started in with the butane torch. You notice that the reflection lines and the shadow are drawing in towards the attack area. The center where the flame is seems to be shrinking while the surrounding area seems to be expanding. Both happening at the same time is causing the panel to warp, but the integrity and the strength still seems to be holding. For time's sake, we sped up the video, but we did keep the real-time clock in the corner here so you can see the actual time that's going by. At a minute and 45 seconds, we finally had enough softening in the very center of the attack area to push an aluminum bar stock through. Now, in the beginning of the video, we said we weren't going to use the bat, but we decided to go ahead and take 15 shots right on the attack area to be sure that there was no compromise in the strength of the panel. You can see where the marshmallow hit it here. Uh, that's just never going to burn a hole. And that just, you know, the, the weight of the marshmallow itself is going to melt, it's gonna fall off onto the ground. It's just not nearly hot enough or a sustained enough flame to do any damage to our armor plast panel. 
the blowtorch directly on there and I'm not sure how many seconds it was. We'll have to go back and during editing and look to see how many seconds, but we were barely able to weaken it enough to be able to poke our tool through it. It's barely enough for me to be able to get my finger through. There's no way you'd be able to reach your hand through there for quite some time because it stayed hot for a while, but it was not nearly enough to weaken the panel in any way significantly enough to, uh, to be able to thwart it or to get through. So I'd say that that myth has been debunked and I'm really not worried at all about any vulnerabilities on the Armorplast panel due to flame. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and of course, comments are welcome. See you next time.